Hi everyone, Merry Christmas. Today I wanted to share my Christmas with you guys. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alana and I'm a Canadian, but I've been living here in England for over five years. So I thought I'd share my Christmas with you guys, plus talk about how Christmas in Canada in the US is a bit different from a British Christmas. So without further ado, let's go. I think one of the main ways that a traditional North American Christmas is different to a British one is the food, which is something that I'm very interested in. Of course, every family has their own traditions in terms of what they have for Christmas dinner, but for us in Ontario, a Canadian Ontario Christmas dinner usually was turkey, mashed potatoes, gravy, cranberry sauce, um, even though I was kind of the only one that really wanted it. Stuffing. We'd have like peas and corn. Not a lot of veg because veg is not important. Maybe some like fresh bread or like fresh rolls. Did I say stuffing? That's it really. The main, th the main thing. Turkey, gravy, mashed potatoes. And then for dessert we would typically have pie. So maybe an apple pie, rhubarb pie. Some years we would have pumpkin, although I don't think anyone really likes pumpkin. For me personally, I'm not a sweets person, so I don't care about pie. When everyone's having pie, I would usually have my like third or fourth plate of turkey and mashed potatoes because that's just who I am. Now today, my partner and I are making our own British Christmas dinner. There is only two of us, of course. Um, if you've seen on the news, where I'm from at least, Kent, we're classed as tier four, which basically means we're not allowed to see anybody, we're not allowed to go anywhere. So Christmas is very much indoors and we are making a Christmas meal for ourselves, um, which I'm supposed to be helping with right now, but I'm filming this. This is actually the second time I filmed it because the first time had no audio. So fingers crossed this one works, <laughs> fingers crossed. But really that's what we're gonna be doing for the rest of the day is prepping food, cooking, eating, and then taking a very long nap. I'm really excited. Now for our menu, we are going a more of a like classic British meal. You can say that I'm wrong in the comments, that's fine. We're doing turkey. Um, we have a ham, but we're probably gonna do that for like Boxing Day or whatever. So turkey, roast potatoes, stuffing, pigs in blankets. Um, roast carrots and roast Brussels sprouts, cranberry sauce for myself, gravy, um, Yorkshire puddings. Um, God, what else am I missing? I know there's a lot more than that. 
Now we are also having a lot of traditional British sweets for desserts. That's not what I want to say. We're having traditional British desserts for dessert. So I will show you guys that in due course, but first off, I need to actually help cook. So let's go do that now. Hey everyone, happy Boxing Day. Although I can't be certain what day it is. It's Christmas time, time doesn't matter. I'm also in the same jumper as I was before, although this is not the same day, but again, time doesn't matter. So on Christmas day, we ended up eating a lot throughout the day. So when it got time to our Christmas dinner, we ended up not making all the stuff that we had planned on because there was no way we were gonna be able to eat it. So um, for the rest of the week, really, we're just gonna be eating all the stuff that we've already bought. Um, I just finished the sausage roll, uh, a little bit tired, a little bit lethargic. Um, so, I mean, it's, it really truly is Christmas time. Cheers, everybody, to a wonderful Christmas. I hope you ate too much. And I hope you had a wonderful nap. And I hope you got to see your family in some way. I know a lot of it was virtual this year. That's what I did. Um, but I hope you, you had a good Christmas. Cheers. Also, can I just say, if you like my content, can you subscribe? Would that be all right? I hate asking. I'm never going to ask you to smash that like button. And I'm never going to ask you to ring that notification bell. Okay, I just can't bring myself to do that. But if you could subscribe, that would be pretty cool. Merry Christmas. Hey, before I forget, guess what? If you are watching this video on Tuesday when it gets released, tomorrow I am going to have a YouTube live stream. That's right. Put it in your calendar right now. Write it on your hand. Do what you need to do. Tomorrow, Wednesday, live stream. So our Christmas live stream will be the 30th of December, which is Wednesday at 7 p.m. GMT. I figure we could hang out, eat leftovers, chat about this crazy year, and I hope to see you there. I'll be there, okay? So I will be there, YouTube, Wednesday, the 30th of December, 2020, 7 p.m. I'm gonna be there, I hope you will too. Now, on Christmas Day, I was talking a little bit about how Christmas dinner is a little bit different here in the UK versus in North America. And for people who support me on certain tiers on Patreon or on Twitch, I have a chat room with all these people in it. And I said, hey, if you took a picture of your Christmas dinner, let me see it. 
So we're gonna look at some of them. Now here we have a beautifully well-rounded British Christmas dinner in my opinion. We've got what looks to be turkey and ham, very special. We've got corn, like niblet corn, which I didn't think was very common here in the UK, but that's what we always had in Ontario was niblet corn. I see some pigs in blankets. I see some broccoli, some roast potatoes, um, mashed potatoes as well perhaps overall this is a really fabulous christmas plate 100 percent alana uh approved plus i love that you've got some variety of alcohol which looks great and you got a christmas cracker which i love now here we've got another traditional christmas british meal it looks like we got some turkey gravy maybe some carrots and broccoli now what I do suspect is here is parsnips, which no, your girl does not like parsnips. I never had parsnips at Christmas in Canada. I'm sure there are people that do have them, but I think they're quite rare. Can I say they're quite rare? Whereas here in the UK, I feel like they are everywhere. But parsnips, no thank you. Definitely not. We do have some roast potatoes though, which I do approve of. Another British Christmas meal, and here we're getting into the Brussels sprouts. Now, I think Brussels sprouts are very de um, de device, de what's the word I'm thinking of? You know the word, deci it's not decisive. You either love them or you hate them. Now, for Christmas in Ontario, we never had Brussels sprouts. No, wasn't even an option. Here, though, I like them when they are roasted and I put like chili flakes on them to make them spicy. Um, but here we do have some Brussels sprouts. We also look like we have some parsnips, which is a big no-no, definitely not, no parsnips. But Brussels, those are good. Here again, we've got the carrot and Brussels sprout mix. That looks pretty good. We got a decent amount of gravy that's kind of hiding everything else. I do see a little sausage, so maybe some pigs in blankets, plus some potatoes. Looking good, yum. Here again is, a, I think, pretty traditional. We got turkey, we got Brussels, we got some pigs in blankets, we got some stuffing balls, and I don't know what the other things are. They could be potatoes, they could be parsnips. Potatoes, yes, parsnips, no. Because I love food so much, the thing that sticks out to me between North American and British Christmas meals, most of it is somewhat similar, I will say that. The other day I said that the food was the biggest difference. Maybe that was an exaggeration. I mean, maybe not. I don't know, what am I What am I saying? But I do find that in North America, having mashed potatoes is super common. Maybe some corn. Here it seems like you definitely have your roast potatoes, plus, you know, your Brussels sprouts, your parsnips, your broccoli, your corn, not your corn, your carrots. So that's a little bit different. We all have turkey, we all have gravy, we all have cranberry sauce. Bread sauce is another one here in the UK that's quite unique that not everybody has, mind you. I did do a video making bread sauce a long time ago, but that is something you would not see in Canada, that's for sure. Now the other thing that I think is worth mentioning is the time at which you eat your Christmas meal. Now, in Ontario, in Canada, we always have Christmas dinner. And that would be at dinner time, which should not be surprising because it's Christmas dinner. However, here in the UK, people will have Christmas dinner. Maybe they'll even invite you to a Christmas dinner. If you're a foreigner, you know, new to the country, maybe you get invited to a Christmas dinner but it's at 2 p.m. That's not dinner time. That is one of the differences that really uh, surprised me. Some people will say Christmas lunch, which is much more truthful to the time that you eat it. You know, most people seem to have their Christmas dinner at around 2 p.m., maybe 3 p.m., um, but they oftentimes will still call it Christmas dinner, even though it's like, it's not quite lunch, it's like in this weird time. I personally don't like it. I want to eat it at, you know, 5 or 6 p.m., please. Not in the middle of the day. Another thing to consider, too, is that here in the UK, we have the Queen's Speech every Christmas day. And some people will plan it that they have their Christmas dinner 
in the afternoon, which is confusing. So they'll have their Christmas dinner and they'll be finished in time to watch the Queen's speech sort of late afternoon. Um, that seems to be somewhat common. Not everybody does it, obviously. Of course, in Ontario, we never watch the Queen's speech. I know some people do, but it's usually on at a really funny time early in the morning, obviously because of the time difference. And the Queen doesn't have as much influence on like day-to-day -day Canadian life anymore. Um, that's a whole separate video, but I will say we never watch the Queen's speech Christmas day in Canada, but fair, a fair amount of people watch it here. So now that the presents are done and the main Christmas meal is done, um, the rest of the time it's just kind of sleeping, sleeping off all that food, wondering what day it is, what time is it, is it an acceptable time to eat again? You know, these are the things that we think about at Christmas time. I also went for a Christmas hike, which I desperately needed. I needed some fresh air and I needed to move my body. So I went for a little Christmas, I think, I guess Boxing Day hike, which I think is quite common in both countries. I think people try to get out. The only main difference is here in England. I went for a Boxing Day hike and it's like, eight degrees and if my mom back in Ontario goes for a boxing day hike it's like minus five and there's like a foot of snow so just a little bit different that way but overall I had a good Christmas so thank you to everyone who sent me well wishes I really do appreciate it and I hope you guys had a good time too I know it's been weird <laughs> obviously very strange and a lot of us if you're in the UK you might be in tier four just like me which is weird but you know it is what it is and I hope you guys are keeping safe and full and entertained and a little bit lethargic a bit tired and sleepy but content I think that's all I really wanted to say I'm gonna go play with all my presents now guess what I gotta make your own cheese kit I know Anybody who's on Patreon, you're gonna get a make your own cheese kit video real soon, I promise you. All right, I think that's all the stuff that I wanted to talk about. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you wanna subscribe, that'd be cool. You wanna leave a nice comment, that'd also be cool. I'm gonna go have one more sausage roll, just one more. I promise I will stop at that point. Just one more. All right, have a wonderful time. Oh, I gotta do my sign off. God, I don't even know what, I don't even know what I'm doing. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, bye! All right, now I'm gonna sausage roll. Ooh, sausage roll, ooh, sausage roll, sausage roll. So All right, I'm going now, bye!